there, good looking. If you are looking for a fun cardio workout, whether you're a beginner or advanced exerciser, this is the workout for you. This is my AMRAP workout, as many rounds as possible, and all you need is your own body weight. No equipment needed. And listen, if you're part of the 21 Day Fit and Fierce Challenge, welcome to day 12. All right, lace up your runners. If you want, you can do this in bare feet too, and let's go get warmed up. Hi there, my name is PJ Wren and I am a certified personal trainer with fitnesswithpj.com as well as creator and lead trainer of over50fitness.co. And listen, I've been working with the over 40 body for almost three decades now and I'm super excited to present this as many rounds as possible cardio workout for you. Now let's get warmed up. As we do, I will chat about the workout. So let's start with the right knee on the ground, left leg is extended, arms in front, Back toe tucked under, and I want you to sit back on your heel and then drive the hips forward, warming up into the inner thigh. You want this left toe pointed straight ahead. So we have four movement patterns that we're gonna rotate through. For the first series, it's 10 reps for five minutes. And I picked, you know, movements that are gonna keep you interested, but fairly easy to grasp so that you're not struggling trying to remember what exercise. We'll also have it labeled on the screen for you. And then I'll also have an alternative exercise if you don't like the higher impact stuff. All right, now sit right back for me. Take that left arm, weave it in between the arm and knee, and then rotate and look up, good. Working T-spine and shoulder here. And then we have a total of three circuits. Last one, release, other side, here we go. Ready, set, sit back. Once again, that right toe and knees pointed straight ahead, feeling a nice dynamic stretch in that inner thigh. Let's sit back here, right arm goes under and then reach it and look up. Good, we have six. Last one, beautiful standing position for me. Feet hip width apart, knees are soft, hands light behind the ears, hip hinge for some good mornings. If you're part of the 21 day challenge, we did this yesterday as a warm up. It's a really nice way to wake up the hamstrings, which you might be feeling if you did yesterday's workout. Here we go, last four, pushing the bum back. Three. Two, one more. Keep the hands here for me. Bring the feet a little wider, come into a squat, and then if you can twist, knee up and twist. If twisting isn't for you, just do a knee up. Picking up the tempo a little bit now, getting the heart rate elevated so that we are in the lower end of our target heart rate zone by the time our workout begins. And that's the way a warm up should work gradually getting you ready for the exercise about to be done. Last four, three, two, and one. Arms down, step it back for me. Get into a lunge or maybe you just into a hip extension if the knees are feeling sensitive. Those of you who are advanced, let's see if we can get the knee all the way to the ground. There are lunges in this workout, so again, you take it as deep as it feels comfortable for the knee joint. Hip extension, as I just demoed, right? This could be exactly where you wanna be. Last four, three, two, one more, one. All right, little jog on the spot. You can bring the knees as high as you want, depending on how much impact you want. We have 30 seconds here. We'll grab a quick sip of water and then away we go. Whew. So as mentioned, our first round of movement are 10 reps, four exercises. And then we bring the reps down as we go. Testing your sports bra on this one too, aren't we? <laughs> Good. 
Last three, two, one. All right, quick sip of water if you need it. We start with 10 jumping jacks. Now, I've hired Mini-Me. She's gonna be back. She'll be in this corner doing low impact of all the exercises. I renegotiated her contract. <laughs> she's a bit of a pill. Paid her some more money. She's back. But we have 10 jumping jacks. Let's give it a try, okay? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, ten gate swings or low impact where you'll step out. One, chest up. Two, you're getting your hand down to the ground by the knees bending. Two more. Last one. Repeat her knee for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. One. So those are our four moves, okay? We rotate through these as many rounds as we can. Last two. One. Jumping jack. High or low impact. Go. Gate swing starts with the feet together, bend the knees, push the tush back, just one hand to the ground, head up. Repeat her knee, pick a leg, use those arms, stabilizing knee is soft. And then the other side. Then you take it to the top again. See if you can speed it up. Gate swings. Repeat her knee. Stabilizing leg is soft, move those arms, knee comes up high, chest stays lifted. Each side. Jumping jacks, we're halfway. Gate swings, feet together, one arm down, other arm, head up, chest up. Good, knees track with toes. Repeat her knee, Woo. getting warm now. Jumping jacks. Gate swings. Repeat her knee. One minute left. See if we can get one more round in before the minute. Gate swings. Repeat her knee. Oh, I think we can do it.
Oh yeah. Keep going all the way. So if you completed as I'm about to, and we still have 19 seconds left, we go back to jumping jacks. Keep going. Gate swings, come on, five seconds. Woo, march it out, all right. Woo, grab a quick sip if you need it. We have a minute break. We're moving on to circuit number two. This one's all on our butt. Woo. Now, we're focused on reps of eight. So still four moves, but now eight reps. We start with a crab dance or a reverse bridge. Fingertips pointed away. We lift the hip, tap the toe, that's one, that's two, or reverse is like so, okay? Then bicycle crunches, each side is one rep. One, two, three, or for those of you that can't do crunches or twist, you'll do a plank, knee taps for eight. All right, and then dead bugs and plank jacks, which you can do high or low impact. Ready? Crab dance for eight. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight crunches or plank kneel taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms up. Legs up, belly button drawn in, low back anchored, eight dead bugs, each side is one wrap. One, two. So this series is really core focused. One more each arm. Good job, plank on the hands or the forearms if that bothers your wrists. You can tap out for eight or jack out. And then from the top, crab dance. Here we go. Remember, we're doing eight now, you guys. Bicycles or plank and knee tap, eight. Dead bug, get that low back anchored and breathe. Knees over hips, hands over shoulders to begin. Plank, tap out or jacks, forearms or wrists. Ready, go. Woo! Five minutes of core work. We're gonna feel our abs here. Crab dance, go. Oh, that one gets getting hard. Bicycles or plank knee taps. Dead bug. Get that low back anchored and then begin. Don't rush the movement. Make sure you've got that low back anchored. So what we're trying to do is keep neutral spine. We're not allowing that low back to lift off as we lower the arm and leg. Plank jacks coming up. Good job. Forearms or hands, tap or jump. If you're on the hands, they're right underneath the shoulders and try not to bob around too much. Woo. Crab walks, here we go. We're down, this one's getting hard. <laughs> Bicycles.
dead bug. Plank jack or plank tap out. Last 30 seconds, stay strong. Plank jacks. Oh, I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Whew. Oh. Just because I'm anal that way. One minute break. Final set coming up. Whew. Grab a quick sip if you need it. If you just finished yours too, congrats. Good for you. All right, so now we're taking it down to six reps. Still four exercises. So we start with, drum roll please, burpees. So beginners, I want you to build your ground up with that chair, with a chair, or hands on your couch, or a bench, or even a BOSU ball, or a step. Really great. We got six of those, and then we've got a skater to crossover lunge. That's one, six of those. And then a side lunge to reverse lunge for six each leg. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. Now you can also do low impact of your burpee and step it out. Don't jump it out. When you've completed that, you're on one side of your mat. You'll give me a nice skater and then this inside leg Trails back into a crossover lunge, and that's one rep. When you completed that, you have six reps of the same leg. Pick the knee up, go into a side lunge, tap it, back lunge. And again, you go as deep as it feels comfortable for the knees. Then the other side. Knees chalk with toes. With that side lunge, your toes, knees, and hips are pointed to me, and your bum is being pressed rearward. So don't twist towards this leg that steps out. Whew. All right, I'm back to my burpees. Whew. Remember, it's six reps. Skater to cross over. Side 
to reverse. You can also do forward lunge. And you can try a knee up to focus on your balance too. But yeah, forward lunge feels better, do forward. In my experience, the reverse lunges tend to feel better for people's knees, but I'm talking general population, right? You are your own person. So work with what feels good for you. Uh oh, I lost what count I'm on. <laughs> I need to do one more. Ooh, so our last grouping too. Huh? Good news, huh? <laughs> I'm third round, back to burpees. Now our timer is going to go in 10 seconds. I'm going to finish off this set with this leg so I'm balanced out. All right. You can march it on the spot if you want or finish off with me. Oh. Okay, come here. Yeah, you, come here. Good, high five, ready? Whew. Good job. Whew. All right. March it on the spot. Huh? Bravo. Especially those of you who are part of the 21 Day Fit and Fierce, day 12, in the bag. So, a lot of good things in this workout for any of us, but especially those of us over the age of 40, 50, 60. And I have some amazing 70 year olds too that follow me. Listen, we got the heart rate up. We did impact to help bone building, strengthen the condition, connective tissue. Whew. We got core work in, in addition to balance work. Ooh, which will help us for fall prevention and the balance also helps us with our core. We got coordinated movement patterns. So feet apart, inhale, deep breath in. For some of you, these moves were new, making you learn new movement patterns, creating more neurons in the brain. The brain is elastic. We just got to keep training it, learning new things. Last one. We started with 10 reps and moved to more complex movement patterns, but we brought the reps down. Okay? And yes, we did burpees, but they didn't suck that bad. Hold on to something if you need to. Pull the knee back, squeeze the tush towards me, and stretch out that quad. And for those of you that did yesterday's day 11, no squat leg workout, we worked out maybe some muscle tightness or soreness that might be happening in the hamstrings and hips for you today. All right, other side. The 
There's a lot of planning that goes into every single workout I present. And sometimes I'll plan it, record it, and in the editing phase, go, ugh, that kind of sucked, and I'll come and redo it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> All right, but I don't want to present a workout that I wouldn't do myself personally, and I am a harsh critic, so that's why I make sure I try to excel each time for you. Toe is up, push the hips back, hinge forward, stretch into that hamstring. We also need to do a balance of movement patterns. There's a lot of workouts out there. Some of them I feel are really hip and like front hip dominant, quadricep dominant, not placing a lot into the rear of the body, which tends to be weaker on us due to sitting, age, inactivity, our jobs, right? If you have a job where you do sit in front of a computer or in a car, let's do the other side. Push the bum back. And then we all have some sort of issue. Well, you know, <laughs> my issues are vast, but muscular skeletal issues. For me, right now I'm struggling, meniscus in this knee, tennis elbow in this knee, slip disc in the lower lumbar. <laughs> and you could be struggling as well. So hopefully I present enough options for you so that you don't struggle and you feel successful at the end. So thank you so much. For those of you part of the Over 50 Fitness crew and enjoying all these workouts ads-free, head to our private community so we can chat about how you're doing in the challenge. If you're part of the Patreon community, thank you for your support. If it wasn't for you, we would not be on YouTube. So if you'd like to join us on either platform, hey, you get extra perks and all the info's down below. I look forward to reading your comments and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Form this in AMRAMP style, meaning as many rounds as possible and five minute intervals. I'm telling you way too much info at the beginning. I'm like giving away the plot before we even started the story. Listen, we're performing this cardio workout AMRAP style, meaning all, <laughs> meaning all, all, all. <sighs> It doesn't mean all, it means as many rounds as possible, hmm? Yeah.